And Dawood alayhi salam establishes the state of Israel, the first Islamic state. And establishes Jerusalem as the capital of the first Islamic state. And he is succeeded by his son Suleiman, Nabi Suleiman alayhi salam. And he builds the masjid in the capital city of the Islamic state. And when you read the story in the Quran of Suleiman alayhi salam and the queen of Sheba, read between the lines and you'll see in that story the recognition of the state of Israel as the ruling state in the world. But after the death of Suleiman alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had prohibited riba in the Torah. They changed the Torah. They rewrote it. The Torah now says, you can find it, go look in it, you'll find it, it's still there. It is haram for a Jew to lend money on interest to another Jew. But it is halal, he can lend money on interest to those who are not Jews. It's called double standards. Because of this change they've made in the Torah concerning riba, among other things, they have now violated the condition of righteous conduct. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds to this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to it by sending an army from Babylon. An army that worshipped the sun and the moon and the stars and idols. So these ibad are sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they destroy the state of Israel. And they destroy the masjid. And they take Banu Israel into slavery in Babylon. And so now they're, they're weeping by the rivers of Babylon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends a prophet, Isaiah. He sends many other prophets, but this one in particular, to communicate a divine promise. What is the promise? We were told about a divine promise which was communicated to the Israelite people that Allah was going to send a prophet who would be known as Al-Masih, the Messiah and who would rule the world with justice Confirmed by Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, he would be Hakimun Adil. He would rule the world with justice. From the throne of Nabi Dawood alayhi salam, the Prophet David. And with a rule which would be eternal. But when that promise was communicated, the Israelites were out there in Babylon and the Holy Land was occupied. The Israelite people understood that if the Messiah was to fulfill this divine promise, there were certain logical implications which followed.